Good afternoon and welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Alright, I think the song that might go with this is Brett Young, In Case You Didn't Know. If you haven't heard that song, you might want to listen to those lyrics. Alright, Spirit, who is this video for? Who is this video for, Spirit? Gemini. Hmm, interesting. Did not see that coming. This is, this is going to be for Gemini. Alright, prayer please, Holy Spirit. Dear God, thank you for giving me my family to love and care for. Help me to share with them your spirit's warmth and love as you bless them with grace and peace. May we as one family live with you forever in heaven. Amen. So, you're grateful for your family, it looks like, Gemini. Alright, Spirit, message from the Instant Magic Oracle Book for the sign of Gemini. What message do you have for Gemini, Spirit? The Oracle needs a rest. <laughs> Ask again in 10 minutes. I think you had this last time, too, Gemini. Alright, don't let me forget to check it again at the end of the reading. Alright, Spirit. Virtues. Alright, humility, compassion, respect, ooh, gratitude, and obedience. Wow. Gratitude, humility, compassion, respect, and obedience. So it looks like somebody's learned a lesson here in respect that, that brought humility. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, Spirit, what overall tarot energy is at work in Gemini's life? Right now, Spirit. Temperance. So you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. You're having to be controlled. And the hanged man. For some reason, you're having to see something from a different perspective. Or you're having to make a sacrifice of some sort. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Alright, we're going to go with the energy oracle for this reading to find out how this happened. Alright, may we see <laughs> spirit. Uh, the broken heart and man holding a coin. The door to romance and the man holding the coin. It's like a, an ace of pinnacle type thing. Um... Blossoming abundance and man holding a coin. Financial trouble to me. Alright, Spirit, how did this happen to Gemini? May I see, please? How did this happen to Gemini? A woman holding a coin. Look at her. There's a woman holding a coin, Gemini. Number 42. Somebody has a black cat. Marissa or Melissa. Somebody has antique furniture, like an antique sofa or chair, or you might have memories of that. Definitely some purple here. The world on the bottom of the deck. Expansion and solar plexus. Alright, what's being hidden from Gemini? The Angel of Strength and the Crown Chakra. So there's a sense that you are needing to be strong. You have this angel bringing strength to you. That's the Leo vibe. Expansion again. And receiving downloads from Spirit, number 50 and number 41. So five and, and five. We have two fives here and a six here. So it's like things are regressing instead of progressing all right what's being shown healer of the ages is here and the third chakra archangel chinwell the solar plexus it's like you're resistant to healing for some reason you're resisting heal you're resisting being healed 
even though spirits are giving you strength and downloads, you're resisting the healing. Number 10, which is 1, and 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Remember I said 6, 5, 5. Now we have a 7. So things are out of sequence somehow. Somebody's resisting healing. And they might have anxiety. All right, what's going to definitely somebody likes their nails and has anxiety? The fourth chakra is here. Raphael with a storm warning. This, it's like you're, not only are you resisting the healing here, you're resisting help, angelic help also. And secretly you have an angel with giving you the strength to get through this. We have a storm warning here, Gemini, and we have 11 and 10, which is 2 and 1. So, again, out of sequence, and your family's unhappy also, from what I can see here. You could be somebody who is on the verge or has recently lost everything. Attachment. There's a problem here with attachment. All right, I'm going to do something a little different. With your reading like I did with the reading like the private reading I did a while ago I want to use the abundance cards for this if I may spirit divine abundance cards all right spirit, talk to me about uh, with Gemini here how did this happen when it comes to Gemini's situation show me things if I may see how this happened show me what's going on here why is this woman holding a coin? Tell me why this woman is holding a coin here. Good strong answers only please from the universe. Why is this woman holding a coin? But for how this happened. Show me how this happened with the woman holding the coin. It's a lot of cards, spirit. May I get good strong answers only please for how this happened to Gemini. With the woman holding the coin. It's like somebody's holding on your money. Okay. This is how it happened. With the woman holding the coin. <clears throat> Do not. Delusion. Grief. Divine abundance. Letting go and guidance. Delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. So, if you have the intention of something, but you're not willing to surrender it to spirit to allow things to happen, then you're you're headed for delusion. You know what being delusional is, right? And then we have grief, which tears are what happen when the ice in the heart melts. So, if somebody is delusion, having delusion and grief, all right, and they they have divine abundance. You were born to align with love's will. Follow the Tao and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. So, it's like you want to have abundance, but you haven't learned how to manifest yet. And then we have letting go. Everything is indeed out of control, and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. So, I think that this happened... To help you to learn to manifest by teaching you to let go. Because it's like you know how to set the intentions. You have the desire. You know that you're supposed to be abundance. But you haven't learned to let go so that the universe can bring things back to you. And then we have guidance. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. And this is one reason why I'm a firm believer in God's Word, the Holy Scriptures. Because they will act as an anchor when we get lost. And so that is why I am a student of the Scriptures. Alright, so what's being hidden from Gemini Spirit? What's being hidden from Gemini here? An awakening. Oh, my Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. So there's this sense that spirit is trying to give you strength and, and, and to speak to your crown chakra, to give you intuitive hits, to speak to you. 
but you're not listening. It's like you're asleep. All right, what's being shown? If this isn't you, this is someone in your life. Liberation. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they are yours. They, you don't believe that these are you. When the doubts and fears still come up, you don't believe anymore that they're you. So Spirit is saying, you're going to still have the, the, the doubts and the fears, but you don't have to internalize those as you. They can be from outside, okay? All right, and what's going to happen next for Gemini Spirit when it comes to this storm and the heart chakra? Reframe, surrender, and outrageous openness. Spirit says, this is happening for me, not to me. So looking at situations as they're, as they're happening in your life as being for you and not to you. Even the hardship can be gifts. Even the hard things that we go through are gifts from the divine, okay? I know that's hard to believe when you're going through them. But Spirit is indicating you need to reframe your thinking. This is happening for me, not to me. And sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control. The ego learns... I'm sorry. The ego learns what's hardest... To stop trying to control the whole universe. The hardest thing in the world to do for your ego to learn is to stop trying to control the whole damn world. And outrageous openness. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. Surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed, and I am open to receive. So what's going to happen next is you're going to reframe your thoughts from that Oh, poor me, poor me, poor me, pour me another drink to thank you, Spirit, that this is happening for me and not to me. It's not to hurt me. It's to help me, to strengthen me, to give me this strength. You're trying to speak to me through the difficulties to bring me the strength. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have extraordinary there's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. That deserves to be honored. All right. Let's find out a little bit more about how this happened. Spirit, may we see, please, how this happened to Gemini out of the Divine Energy Oracle by Sonia Chichette. Oh, that's a lot of cards. May I get one at a time, please, so the reader can read and interpret the cards. How did this happen to Gemini? How did this happen to Gemini? Somebody needs to reach for the stars and refine your attention. Okay. Somebody needed to reach for the stars or they were trying to reach for the stars and refine their attention. Do something different. Seek hidden treasure. All right, what's being hidden from Gemini Spirit? What's being hidden from Gemini when it comes to this awakening and the intuitive hits that's coming and the strength of this angel that we need to seek hidden treasure? Sometimes when we're in a situation, it's hard to see anything good about it. Because shit's hard in life. Life can be hard. But sometimes in those hard times, that is when we have to seek the hidden treasure. And Spirit is saying to you, wake me up. Oh Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. Seek the hidden treasure. Okay? Alright, what's being shown? that I'm going to accept my disappointments gracefully. So you have had a disappointment. I see that. I see that you're going through a very difficult time in life right now. All right, what's going to happen next for the sign of Gemini spirit? Can we get some encouragement here for how life is happening for her or him, not to them? Somehow you, you need to reassess your situation. You have to reassess your situation and bust out of your cocoon 
you're, you're living in a smaller shell than you should be living in and do all things in moderation on the bottom of the deck. All right, spirit, talk to me, sweetheart. What needs to be surrendered for how this happened? Show Jim and I what needs to be surrendered for how this happened. Surrender the drama. So there was some drama, Jim and I. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, stay calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered is going to help you resolve the issue more quickly. Surrender to effortlessness. All right, what's being hidden that needed to be surrendered? Surrender your addictions and surrender to wonder and awe. So secretly you have addictions that need to be surrendered, Jim and I. Secretly, you have addictions that need to be surrendered. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. All right, and surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to flow. All right, what's being shown that needs to be surrendered? There's a lot of stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension. You've built, you've built tension up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. All right, and what's going to happen next that needs to be surrendered? You're going to have to surrender to play and to what is. Take a break from overthinking the goal. Do something fun. Play. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So do something to have fun. It's time to do something fun and stop being so serious all the time. And surrender to the way things are, just the what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting against it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring peace. And surrender your frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. And somebody needs to surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. I see you're resistant over here. You're resistant to healing from the healer of the ages. And that healing is what's necessary right now for you, Gemini. All right, Spirit. How did this happen to Gemini? May I see, please? How did this happen? If the universe could tell us. I hate you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. So somebody hated you. I act like I don't care, but I do. So if somebody feels anger and hate all right what's being hidden what's secretly being secretly i'm afraid to tell you how i really feel about you so somebody's lashing out and and saying fuck you fuck you fuck you when they're really afraid to tell you how they really feel thanks for being in my life all right what's being shown universe a booty call <laughs> don't judge me come over i can't send this <laughs> so somebody wants to have sex <laughs> all righty then not gonna judge i smile when i'm reading so there's an argument here somebody's like i hate you i hate you i hate you fuck you secretly they're afraid to tell you how they feel outwardly they ready to have a booty call <laughs> what's gonna happen next universe what am I going to do with you, seriously? What's going to happen next? For the sign of Gemini, what's going to happen next? May I see, please? I know your fine ass is not single. <laughs> I know your fine ass is not single. Somebody looks like somebody is saying... What's going to happen next is I know you're not single. Like, somebody might be ending up single here. And where have you been my whole life? <laughs> Somebody's questioning this. Like, what am I going to do with you, really? I mean, I know you're not single. <laughs> okay, then. All right, then. Let's get some more cards and have a little more fun here. How about that? All right, show me how this happened to Gemini Spirit. 
Somebody doubts that somebody is single. Somebody was getting hot and sweaty. You could have been working or you could have been working out. Because this is about working out and growing old as fuck together. <laughs> so somebody was getting hot and sweaty. Alright. That's how it happened. They were working out. Alright, what's being hidden? They were either working or working out. What's being hidden? Stop trying to control every damn thing. And just say those five little words. It's like somebody doesn't want to tell you how much they how much they care about you. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel about you. Somebody is terrified to say how they feel. All right, what's being shown? A lot's being shown. Send a picture. Just walk away. We can't be all things and tantrums are for babies. So if somebody sent a picture. <laughs> And just walk away. We can't be all things and tantrums are for babies. That's what's being shown. Somebody sending a picture. Somebody walking away because they feel like they're not good enough. And throwing a tantrum. They feel like they're not good enough, so they threw a tantrum. All right, what's going to happen next? You're going to realize you're on the same team and play like it and have sex. Do you really need a card for this, Gemini? You've got to have sex. Alrighty then. And you're going to have family shit that gets on your nerves. But what else is there, right? And check yourself. You're playing with fire. So, it looks like Gemini's about to get laid. <laughs> Okie dokie then. <clears throat> Alrighty then. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, for one, am at a loss of words right now. <laughs> oh God! Why is temperance here? Somebody's trying to control themselves, but they they're about to have sex. <laughs> You're like, we're on the same team. Let's have sex. <laughs> What's gonna happen next? <laughs> You're on the same team, so have sex. Uh oh, the two of cups came out in reverse. Why is the two of cups in reverse? That's a breakup. Somebody had a breakup. Because they were waiting. They're like, <laughs> they're like, I know there's a very strong attraction here, then why am I waiting? If there's such a strong attraction here, why am I waiting? I'm not waiting for you to have a relationship any longer. I'm over all of this loss. That's what temperance is about. It's about waiting. For this Two of Cups to have sex. Alright, why is the Two of Cups in reverse? Why is that in reverse? Because of the Three of Cups. Because of a party. A celebration. And a friendship that's turning into love. Alright, explain that to me, Spirit. Because I don't quite understand why the Three of Cups clarifies the two of cups it's a lot of cards because of the hierophant the page of cups there's your friend there it could be a friend of yours that's married it's probably a friend of yours that's married and you're reevaluating this queen of wands that's in reverse that's making your dreams come true and the ten of pentacles is in reverse for king of pentacles and somebody's spying all right, so there's somebody who's married or a friend of yours that you're thinking about who would make your dreams come true. And it's probably this Sagittarius that's not here. It's like, if Sagittarius was here, my dreams could come true. I feel like I've lost everything. And I'm a king of pentacles. I am loyal, secure, and I take love serious. This is a Capricorn Virgo Taurus and this is a this is a Sagittarius. It's like somebody is thinking about their marriage to this person. <coughs> They're thinking if I was just married to that person, we can have it all. Alright. Well, then why is she in reverse? Because of some gossip. 
and strength in reverse. Gospel. What's the tea spirit about Sagittarius being in reverse? Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse? That might not be. It could be a Leo. Why is the Queen of Wands out of the picture here? Why is she not here? What happened to the Queen of Wands? There's a secret that somebody's digmatized and wants revenge. There's this, there's something hidden. Somebody secretly is digmatized and they want revenge. That's the gossip. Why do they want revenge? Oh, maybe it's your, uh, your wife. Maybe this is your wife that left you. Your wife left you and took everything. Now you're pissed. Pissed. Alright, what would this Queen of Wands say? What would the Queen of Wands say? The one that left and took, took just the one that left you. What would she say? It looks like she may have left you. I fantasize about you and I don't know what to say. Maybe she didn't leave you. Maybe she, you just haven't told her how you feel. So this person hasn't left you. She's actually here. This is somebody who's a friend of yours that you've been thinking about. To see if it's somebody you want to be married to. And I think that, yeah, she fantasizes about you. And she hopes you're happy. Alright, what would you say to her? You would say you've been struggling and that you never want to feel that way again. What else would she say to you besides she fantasizes about you? That she understands you better now, she's not coming back, and what do you want from her? Okay, what else would you say to her? You would say, I know I made a mistake, I took the easy way out. And that you were not part of my plan. That's what she. That's what you would say to her. You, you took the easy way out, and that she was not part of your plan. All right. So that's why she's not here. Cause you wanted to have this relationship, but you took the easy way out. And that's why you're spying on her, and why she's in reverse with all of her abundance. Wow. All right. What what would it take for this person to come back to you, Gemini? Is there any way that she might come back to you? Let's find out. Would she come back? Is there anything that could change that would make her come back? Right now, she's exhausted about this and conflicted. She's exhausted and conflicted. All right. And she's let this go. She's tired and she's conflicted, but she's let it go. Alright, what's going on with this person over here, the one that took the easy way out? They're struggling. What are they struggling with? What are they struggling with? They're struggling with Divine Masculine and running. Maybe they are Divine Masculine who's running. Resonate it however you need to turn it. I don't know. Alright, so what am I missing here, Spirit? Somebody has an infatuation, but they're by their self. Why are they by their self? Because of the chase. What do you mean, the chase? There's a secret admirer. The secret admirer. That is hoping, hoping <laughs> the secret admirer is the one that got sidetracked. So this divine masculine over here got sidetracked and took the easy way out. And somebody is infatuated and by the, I guess he's infatuated now. But this person over here is like, I'm, I'm too tired and I'm conflicted about this. All right, what's going to happen next for this person here? They have a lot of depth. And they're by themselves. They're all alone too. They they have depth and they only want you. Clarify only you. 
They have unconditional love. And they might be longing for this also, but they're exhausted and conflicted. Because you took the easy way out. You got sidetracked and you're running. This person's tired of chasing you. That's what I see here. All right, Spirit, what do we need to see here? Because I'm not sure I'm catching it all. I think I'm getting it. Where's Sagittarius? Oh, Sagittarius. Where's Gemini here? Lord have mercy. What's going on with Gemini here? There's an ending here, Gemini. What's going on with the person that Gemini is in this relationship with? They have fear. They have self-worth. And the fifth dimension is here. So the, the, the 5D is helping this person with fear and with self-worth. That's what's happening here. What ended for Gemini? Can you show me what ended? Some destruction is what ended. Remember I told you there was a tower or a storm? There's destruction that's ending. Oh, and a card turned over. Communication. Why is communication here? Because of shadow work and deception. Shadow work and deception. So there was communication and it caused you to have to do shadow work. There was some kind of deception in this, this communication perhaps. Let's find out what, they would, what this person would say that was deception. Clarify the communication. Your intellect arouses me. What else? I want to make amends, and I miss hearing your voice. So, how is that deception? I don't know why this happened. Clarify the deception. That was the communication. Clarify the deception. Clarify the deception. I trusted you. Do I still have a chance? I won't let you down. I'm in a committed relationship and I feel the sexual tension. All right, there's the deception. I need security. <clears throat> I trusted you. Do I still have a chance? I won't let you down. I'm in a committed relationship, but I feel the sexual tension. So the deception is, is that this person is with somebody else. The communication is, I miss hearing your voice. You're, you're so smart, and I want to I make amends. What's going on with the person they're in the committed relationship with? Now, see, please. What's going on with the person they're in the relationship with? The answer is yes. Inner child. I'm going to have to take a pause here and grief. It looks like somebody was pregnant. Clarify inner child. It looks like they lost the baby. They were pregnant and lost this child. That's what it looks like to me. Unawakened and found. It looks like they were pregnant and lost the child. What am I missing? There's a soulmate wearing a mask. There's a soulmate that's wearing a mask. Alright, what do we need to know about the soulmate that's wearing a mask? The answer is no, because they feel like a victim. And somebody needs to take action. Alright, Spirit, talk to me out of this deck for the sign of Gemini. What do I need to know here? Somebody needs to take care of their self. Spirit says you need to take care of yourself. You have ancestors and guides that are helping you. All right, what else, Spirit? There needs to be truth about this spark 
in a transformation and an apology in Divine Feminine. So there needs to be truth and renewal, and that would transform this. It needs, there needs to be truth about this sex and an apology. And Divine Feminine is here. The truth would transform this. The truth about this sex would transform this. Clarify the renewal. May I see, please, what this is about? This is where the conflict comes in. The truth about somebody's anger and their conflict and what triggers them would be transformed by an apology in Divine Feminine. What is triggering them? Reunion and somebody acting cold. And temptation and deception. There's the deception again. They're cold because they feel like they're being tempted. Clarified detachment and temptation. This is the wish fulfillment. Alright, so there's there's three people here. I have one that's a divine masculine, one that's a divine feminine, and then I have a soulmate who's wearing a mask. And I think one of you is triggered by this by the relationship. Whoever you are, you're triggered because you feel like this is deception. You feel like this person being with this other person is deception. Why do they feel that way, Spirit? Because they feel like this is a facade that you're wearing about this loss that you had and being separated. What's the truth, Spirit? The truth is that whoever that is, is confused. Alright, what's the truth? Somebody has a lot of fears and limitations, but they're awakening and remembering this Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles? That's about like moving. Yeah, this, this could be a baby. Nurturing and compassion. You have fears and limitations about remembering this. Uh, maybe this child that was lost. Why are they having fears and limitations about this child that was lost? Because they're afraid that their person is going to fall in love. That's the truth. Ace of Cups. The, cu the Ace of Cups is here with an offer. And the Ace of Swords. The truth is, is that they're already in love. And that there's communication here about the truth. That's what's causing the storm. All right. Any other tea we need to know? Tell me the tea about this beautiful relationship I see here. The tea is, is that somebody wants to make a gesture of love to this person. Spirit. What would this person right here that's wanting to make this gesture of love, that is in love, what would they say to the person they want to make the gesture to? I'm telling you the truth. You can trust my words. What else? They want you to listen to trust their words. I'll be writing you a message, and I'm trying to make a very difficult decision, and it involves you. What would the other person say to them? Please accept my apology so we can move past this. And what would the third party say? I can't be apart from you much longer. Something or someone is standing in between us right now. So... These two people meet in love is what's staying in between you. You want to be with this person. I don't know what to tell you. You know, see what the outcome is going to be here, Spirit? What's going to be the outcome of this love triangle? Somebody's healing from heavy shit. And there's going to be a wheel that's going to bring justice and a lot of happiness. Clarify the wheel. 
Gemini, you're here with the Two of Wands in reverse, not planning on this decision. What do you mean they're not planning this decision? The Queen of Cups is here in reverse and the Ace of Wands upright. The Queen of Cups, that could be a Cancer. Why is the Queen of Cups here with the Ace of Wands? Because that's the Knight of Cups. That's the relationship that's moving forward. This could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or Scorpio. Can you clarify the um, Queen of Cups? Some, something that hasn't been working and they're waiting for results. Clarify the results they're waiting for. This page of wands. There's some kind of exciting message. Talk to me about this message. Something that they have forgotten about. What do you mean they've forgotten about? Their dreams coming true. With this friend of theirs. Oh, wow. Anything else I need to know, Spirit? Divine Feminine is here with the Ten of Pentacles upright and the King of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So, <laughs> this is leading to everything and... Why is the King of Pentacles here with the Two of Cups? You could be with, that's a Capricorn. That's a Capricorn. Why are they here with the Divine Feminine having it all? Because that's who makes them happy. That's who really makes this person happy. All right, where's Divine Masculine? Whoa, Gemini, there's deception. What do you mean there's deception? There's about to be, somebody's about to take a risk. There's cancer right there. They're about to take a risk about their feelings. Clarify what you mean about taking a risk. Clarify the risk they're going to take. They're going to stop reevaluating what? This relationship. There's an Aquarius here also. And a, a relationship that's over. They're going to stop reevaluating a relationship that's over. And recognize. Recognize what? Why is the Page of Swords here in reverse? Why are they moving? They're going to realize that they're stuck. And that this isn't transforming because they won't, they won't think deeply about this. What do they need to think about? You need to think about clarified judgment. Why is judgment here? Because of Divine Masculine recognizing that there's a lost pregnancy or something. My name being the troll of truth. Oh, Divine Masculine is here recognizing that they have an opportunity for new love and a new place to live or a new job. If they would just stop playing games and say how they feel about this person. What are the um, chances they will? The magician came out. I would say pretty damn good. So it looks like they're healing from something. Wow. What would Divine Masculine say about all this, Spirit? I know more than you think, and in that moment, I didn't care. All right, what else? Sometimes I hear your voice. I was careless with you, and I hope I will see you again sometime, and you didn't imagine it. What would Divine Feminine say to him? I don't trust you. What else? Divine Feminine doesn't trust you. You didn't break me, and I'm waiting for an apology. You are not part of my plan. So this Divine Feminine is with that King of Pentacles because she doesn't trust this Divine Masculine. And I know we have a soul connection. Oh, shit, what a complicated reading, Gemini. Oracle messages for Gemini Spirit. Oracle messages for Gemini. 
Empowerment is here. What else? You need to have some boundaries. Set some boundaries. You're going to have good luck. You have psychic abilities and you have strength. Remember the strength. You have a spirit guide. One more time I'm hearing. Your life purpose is here with freedom on the bottom of the deck. All right, spirit. Talk to me for the side of Gemini about <clears throat> unshakable inner peace. Here it says, oneness is the way. How can you show more compassion and acceptance towards those you don't understand? And deep inward journey, you'll be rewarded for the work. How can you how can you alchemize your fear? Remember fear? And breathe. This moment matters most. How can you focus on the moment and appreciate all as well? So there's, a, there's an empress that's with a, a king of pentacles because... Of things that happen between her and this divine masculine. It looks like. <clears throat> Alright, messages out of this deck for this reading spirit. Talk to this person. Pink hair. Somebody has pink hair. I'm hearing shells or Shelly. There needs to be an apology. And release and stability. You need to apologize. Or you can expect the apology you want to hear. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go, and this relationship can stand the test of time. All right, what else? There's an addiction and longing. An addiction and longing. Somebody has to have trust. It's safe to trust your intuition. Have integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? What else? I can tell you right now. <laughs> We're adding some new energy to the collective. Somebody has regret about a past life love. All right, what about this regret? You're on different pages and there needs to be healing. All right, what else? Spirit so says, go slow. Twin flame. And somebody's in denial. Show me who's in denial. Who's in denial? Warning. What do you mean warning? Somebody's in denial and warning. There's been a spiritual lesson. Damn. Somebody's unavailable. There's finances here. An obsession. Time apart. Passion. You need to wait because of rejection. And abundance. Right? What do you mean wait because of rejection? Your boundaries are here and protected. Anything else that I need to know for the greatest good of whoever this video is for? So whoever you are, you're not taking this person back, I don't think. You need to take care of yourself and you're going to have a new love. Alright? Talk to me, Spirit, about the new love. May I see the new love, please? Judgment in reverse and the Ace of Wands. Alright, what do you mean the Ace of Wands is here? This is about, this could be a Virgo or a Libra or both. You could have those placements. Alright, so it's like you're not using, you don't see something about. Somebody's soul searching. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? It could be somebody at work. Um, you, you, want, you need to heal from a marriage. There needs to be healing in a marriage or something. There's a marriage that's not healing is what it looks like. And it's because somebody doesn't use good judgment. They, they're, they're angry and they're shallow. That's why... Things are working for whoever you're dealing with here. I think. Alright, what do I need to know here? Something's going to move forward. What is? What's going to move ahead forward? This Queen of Cups that's in reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups here? That's definitely. 
because somebody is, this is a karmic partner. This queen of cups is a karmic partner. And they are unhappy and manipulative as hell. And they're not having sex with their old man or old woman. Whoever this is, they're not having sex. And I, I guess spirit just wants you to know, this new love of yours, they're not having sex in their marriage. What's going to be the outcome of that marriage? The Empress, the Nightmare card, the Moon. This is a Cancer. A money focused and unawakened. So it's like, it's a nightmare. There's a lot of secrets. A lot of money focused and somebody's unawakened. And it's going to end. It's going to end. Anything else we need to know, Spirit? It looks like a cancer. Anything else we need to know? There's a Knight of Pentacles. What about this Knight of Pentacles? You're mirroring them when it comes to the King of Cups. So maybe you also have a cancer in your life or this King of Cups. You're mirroring each other. There needs to be healing. And you're manifesting somebody to be rejected and disappointed. And that's the truth. Oh, my God. Well, anything else? Oh, my God. These are complicated readings. What do you mean? They're, at a, they're not at a crossroads. Here it says. There, there's weakness, and then you're going to hear... An exciting message about this ending. You're going to hear an exciting message about this ending. They have a Knight of Pentacles. It's a Knight of Pentacles with a Cancer. A King of Cups. It's like a younger woman. and um, You have a Queen of Cups. They have a King of Cups. And there's going to be a date. What about the date? What about the date, Spirit? This is going to be a third party, and it's the Queen of Swords. She's a bitch. So, it looks like they have a third party situation, too. Good God Almighty. I don't know who you are, but you need a private reading. That's all I'm going to say. What kind of healing do we need to have here for Gemini? I've never seen so many people show up in a reading. Take off your mask. Stop pretending. And, uh, you need to set, have sexual arts. That's like celibacy. Have faith. What else, Spirit? Okay, forgiveness came out of the wrong deck, y'all. Self-sabotage and playing the victim with temptation on the bottom of the deck. All right, angels, how are you helping Gemini? Manifestation. Forgiveness, again, surrender, and feeling the vibes. What else? The truth. Peace. Awakening, unity, and faith with harmony on the bottom of the deck. All right, Spirit, who are you talking to? H-L-E-C-Q-H-C. -C. Good God, that was a complicated reading. <laughs> B-V-U-L-S-K-M. N... O T S C V T. It looks like both of them had Queen and King of Cup. Q G B H T L R. I'm going to ask the Oracle again. L B Q P B C I. You could be same sex also. Spirit, may I please ask the oracle again for the sign of Gemini? You are seeking an answer that only a magic spell can answer. You're going to need a blank sheet of paper, a pen, a candle, matches, or a lighter. Write out your question on a piece of paper and then carve the first letter from each word of your question onto a candle. Light the candle, burn the paper, and by the time the candle burns all the way down, you will have your answer. You can relight the candle over seven, de seven days if you need to. Alright, trinkets please for Gemini Spirit. What a complicated reading. If this is your reading and you want me to do a private reading for you, let me know. Alright, I have an elephant, 
a wing, you're probably a card reader, I have a hand, an Eiffel Tower, a gasket, the love, um, sorry, a sister is someone to sing, cry, dream, and laugh with, an infinity sign that says love, another hand, another card reader, a wave, a compass, an EKG monitor with a heart, you might be a cardiologist or an EKG specialist, a butterfly, a bow tie, a butterfly, a cloud, an Eiffel Tower, another gasket, a star, oh, two horses, a crescent moon, oh, no, 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 that's a dolphin, an owl, an elephant, a shell, your name could be shell, an anchor, an infinity sign, another shell, maybe there's two Michelles, a clown, a fool, or a jester, Dream, hope, trust, love, a piece of quartz crystal, a crescent moon with a heart, a butterfly, um, a starfish, a flamingo, a deer, a little baby deer, Bambi. She believes she could, so she did. A fancy heart, a yin and yang, another shell, and a piece of quartz crystal, rose quartz crystal. All right, trinkets from this soul from the Holy Spirit for the sign of Gemini. <clears throat> I'm not going to do I Ching messages. I have a compass, a light bulb, a fancy heart, a world, a, a piece of crystal, a prick or a cactus, a baby, a rocking horse for a baby, a piece of turquoise, an infinity sign, Harry Potter nine and three quarters. I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. A tower, never, never give up, a gear, definitely have a mechanic or something, a money sign, an elephant with a tr um, heart on its trunk, another money sign, young and strong, a squid, another Eiffel Tower, a star of David, your name could be David, a world, a kundalini, a lotus flower, no matter where, an arrow, and a feather. All right, Gemini, if this was your reading and you could make any sense out of this, <laughs> congratulations. I don't know how you did. <laughs> All right, you guys, be blessed. Bye-bye.